Hey, this is King Shuk from CS for All, and today we are going to talk about internship opportunities for first and second year students. So let's roll the intro and let's get started. Coming to this video, the very first questions you may have is, is it really possible to get good internships in first and second year of your college? The answer would be yes, because I have seen many people do internships in first and second year of their college. I myself am in my second year of college and I have done internships in four different startups. So the short answer would be yes. Now that we know it is possible to get internships in first and second year students, so which companies do provide internships to first and second year students? The answer would be mostly startups. Yes, fang level companies do provide internship opportunities, but those are through hackathons, uh, through mentorship programs like Google, some of code, Facebook mentorship programs, JP Morgan's mentorship program, like, like all those. But in startups, you will apply directly to the company through referral or through applications and they will sort you through your development skills or data structure and algorithm skills or through any other skills that would be needed in that particular internship. Now you may be asking yourself that are internships really that important? The answer would be probably yes because see when you are going for internship and full time opportunities in your third and fourth year, your resume will give you an edge over the other candidates. Internships also has other benefits like it will help you get your feet wet in the software industry. You will get to know that do you really like software development or not. You will get a good amount of paycheck if you are managed to get in a good startup and you will also have ample exposure and you will learn new technologies. So what really matters while applying to startups? You need to understand that a startup wants to hire a programmer who has good problem solving skills as well as nice development skills because they do not want to waste much time training you and learning their code base and they want you to start working as soon as possible. That's one of the pros and also cons of working in a startup you can say. Yeah, so you need to have good development skills, good data structure and algorithm skills, good adaptability and good communication skills. These four are the most important skills you need to earn while applying for startups. Now let's talk about resumes. Resumes are a very important part of getting selected in startups. You should highlight all the points that I've mentioned earlier in the video in your resume. Like if you're a good problem solver, you should share your coding profiles in lead code, GFG, code or wherever you may code. If you're a good developer, you should share your recent projects. And please do not blindly copy projects from the internet that you find cool, no. You should make something that you will yourself use. And one big plus point of your project would be if it has a user base. It doesn't matter how, how big, if it is even 5 or 10, it is enough to grab the attention of the interviewer. And because in startups, the interviewer will grill you over your projects of what use it comes to, to like general people, why would they use your project. And so please don't make any run of the mill project. And as we are here, let's also talk about GPS. GPS generally do not matter much in startups, but I would say you should keep it above eight as anything can happen and you may get rejected because of that GPS. So it's suggested that you should keep your GPA above eight, 8.5. Now that we know all these things about internships for first and second year students, let's also learn about where to apply and how to apply. I won't be going into much depth about how to apply because the video would just get too long. But if you want me to make one in-depth video about those, just let me know in the comments section. So. There are mainly four places you can apply, AngelList, QVIT, LinkedIn and Internshala. Whenever applying through a job post or internship post, make sure you have a cover letter and the cover letter shall cover points such as your technical expertise, your past projects, your past experience in internships and your academic qualifications. And also you can mention your achievements in like hackathon or whatever it is. Make sure the cover letter is as brief as possible and as knowledgeable as possible. There is one other technique you can apply for applying for internships is going through the uh, startup profile of your LinkedIn and going through the employer list and mailing them or DMing them on LinkedIn itself and asking for a referral with all the points that I've mentioned in the cover letter. With this, you should be covered with all the things you should know about applying for internships in first and second year. Hey everyone, I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. Please mention the topics I shall cover in the upcoming videos. 
So now that we know the ins and outs of applying for starters in the first and second year, start preparing and let's get cracking.